Tracy here from Uniquely Creative. Today I'm going to show you how you can elevate your Uniquely Creative card kit cards. These ones here are made with our two collections of my advent release. This is uh, Indigo and Violet and Juniper and Sage. So I'm going to start with Juniper and Sage. So these cards are the cards that you can make in the card kit and they are beautiful cards but I'm just going to show you how you can elevate them a little bit if you wanted to and I have included this in the card kit itself so these are actually all easel cards that stand up like this on this gorgeous little easel and I have done that with all of them in this collection and for this card kit and you I've actually put photographs of them all on the the back of the instruction sheet that comes in there and I'm going to very quickly show you how to turn your cards into these easel cards that fold down flat perfectly and easily to go in the mail. So when you've got your cards, so these are the cards that come in the packet, these are the uniquely creative cards, to make the easel card all you do is, it's a top folding card, you take it and you fold it from the top down to the center line. Get your bone folder, of course mine's not here, and you fold that like that. So now this is your card and it's got this easel right here. Okay, then I have got, so this would ordinarily be my card front and normally I'd glue it on there flat like that and we would make just a regular card. All I need to do now with my card front here is glue it on the top. So I'm just going to use my glue or use your tape. I've just got glue to make it nice and quick for the video. This is um, Hellmice 450 quick dry glue. And we now just leave a little white edge like we would if we were doing a normal card front. And we glue it down. But the only section that's getting glued is that front section there. Like that. So now... When you see it on the side, it sits up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something to hold it up. So this is just another piece of this same paper that I've used to make my card front. And I'm going to adhere that down. And then I want it to sit up a little bit so that it will stand up nicely when it stands up. So I've got a couple of our little foam mounts. And that's going to sit there and that will hold it in place when it's standing up like that and then it will fold easily flat down to go in an envelope to post so that is a really quick way to elevate your cards and I've done that with all six cards these are the cards that come in the kit and this little bonus one that I've just created here this I made this with all my leftovers I will pop a picture of that up on the blog so you can copy that one as well the other collection is our indigo and violet and these are the cards and I'm going to show you how to make one of these little peekaboo window cards so this has got this little section in here so I'll just show you all the other designs and there's two of these I've made in this one and you could easily make all of these other designs that I have created with indigo and violet as easel cards as well instead of just making them flat but this is the one I wanted to show you and this one is really easy to make as well and just elevates your card kit cards. So I've got my, my trimmer and I've got my uniquely creative square card base. And in my little trimmer here, I am just going to measure my edge there on the two inch mark and cut it down. So now I have got my piece in two bits. I am now also then going to cut the bottom bit at that same two inch mark. And now the front of my card is in three pieces. Two pieces is identical here and my middle piece. I'm going to just trim a tiny little bit off the end of my middle piece. And now I'm going to glue that inside this top bit left on my card. So this will go in the center like that. So we've got like this tail now. And then on the bottom bit here, more glue or tape goes on the bottom like this. This has now created the window. Still not quite dry, don't want it to glue on there. Okay, so what I would then do, I've got a couple of pieces that I've cut that are going to mat. 
one for the top and one for the bottom. Again, I'm just going to use a bit of 450 glue um, just for the process of the video to keep it sped up for you. Perfect. And then the bottom one as well. So again, I will include this bonus card on the blog. So you've got the six designs that I've given you. Now, if this bit in the middle is not straight, I really don't stress too much because I'm going to cover that middle section there. So I've created a little bit that I want to pop in the center there to go over there. I can put that flat or I can mount it up. So I think today I might mount it up. So I just grab some of my mounting tape, some of my little circles. I could use my strips as well, but I've got the circles here, so why not? Let's use those. And maybe one more in the middle. And this is just going to go in the center like that. Very cute. I could add a little bit of ribbon and some rhinestones as well if I wanted to make it a little bit more poppy. But that is how you make this card. And as I said, there is two that are going to come with this design in the card kit. And this is, I just wanted to show you this one, but I'll pop this one up on the blog as well. I'll add some bling and some ribbon to it and they stand up beautifully just like that. Hope you enjoyed this guys. I really want to show you how you can elevate your card kit cards to make them even more special, but still fit an envelope to post. Till next time, bye.